So the National Food and Nutrition Commission, in collaboration with the World Food Programme and other cooperating partners, has embarked on a campaign. And this is a deliberate campaign that aims to educate the public on what it means to eat well. So we are calling it the Eat Well Campaign. And we, we picked the words eat well because we know that in the Zambian context, eating well or ukudia wino, kudia buino, is usually taken out of context. O gugudia kapo tuko baamba, membondi hi. Ude kwa guti, mtu ula nkugu, inyama, masoseji, ma hiya 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 hiya. Kudia buino ni free mind. Once you are free a person, Vakuja vizange na freedom tupi. Kwari pusana. Kwari babari ama bomba. Na yabafta tu bomba. Bayata ama ama bomba. Bayata ala stelko kwa shiri teni. Habika mkvirichi. Ibo kwa yabafta tu bomba ya tu hata kukwalishi. Nisemo sao ka. Nika kwa nako kwa 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 Ukuriabuino, <laughs> Kulia iya kulia eyo iya gamu biri mburi kusanganya. Eating health it means eating the right amount of food and of all kinds. So in the Zambian context, when we talk about when we say a healthy diet, oftentimes we think it's you know food that contains a lot of meat, for example, a lot of cooking oil. It's basically eating foods in excess. Um, but uh, a healthy diet in nutrition is a diet that contains a variety of foods, a diet that is adequate in terms of quantity as well as quality, and also a diet that contains foods or meals that are well prepared. Well, a typical example of a healthy diet would, con let's, let's use the Zambian context for example. So if you, we know we eat a lot of mshima in Zambia. So instead of your breakfast meal mshima or your refined mshima, a healthy diet or a healthier option would be a shima made from uh, unrefined or wholemealed uh, maize grain, for example, uh, with vegetables. And when we say vegetables, remember I said, um, you know, it, it, it should be a meal uh, that is adequate in terms of quantity. So it should be a, a good portion of, of vegetables. So we are talking about, you know, the majority of your plate or at least half your plate should contain uh, vegetables and we have uh, different types of vegetables it could be kalembula chihuahua uh, or reb uh, but you know a good portion of that of your plate should be uh, vegetables and then uh, shima of unrefined uh, maize meal and then also meat which is prepared in a way that doesn't have too much cooking oil or excessive amounts of of fats So this It Well campaign is a campaign that has started um, with the help of World Food Program and Caritas uh, here in Mumbwa. And uh, the exciting part about this It Well campaign is that it's a campaign that is talking about what it means to eat well. But not only is it focusing only on women or maybe those that are pregnant and children under five, but it is focusing on everyone. So it's talking about the young, it's talking about the age, it's talking about the adolescent, it's talking about the young men and the young women. So it's a program that has come for each and every person here. So on the Eat Well campaign, uh, we are working with different stakeholders to drive the messages of the campaign. And the uh, community-based volunteers are, you know, one of our stakeholders uh, because they understand their communities better and they are better able to actually, you know, interpret the messages in the language that uh, the, their communities would understand. So we have trained community-based volunteers in uh, the four districts that I mentioned earlier. 
uh, but also we have partnered with the church because we do understand that uh, the church is a very influential uh, you know in institution where we can actually um, you know take the messages of the Eat Well campaign. So pastors from the churches actually have been a great part of the, the campaign. We have uh, engaged pastors, for example, in Mazabuka district, who are actually passionate about eating well, and uh, they are, they've understood the message very well, and are willing to actually, uh, you know, take this message to their um, churches. So I'm so glad that uh, at this moment again, the World Food Program have called us again for this other program that has to do with Eat Well. When I heard of this, I said, I'm not remaining. I have to be part of it because uh, I want to know more. Because that time we were just given information, the 1,000 um, critical days. But we were not given details as to the nutrition and how you can calculate them, how you can balance up the foods. That information was not given. This also has given me one thought to think about. When the Bible says um, my people perish because of lack of knowledge, the scriptures have really now made sense to me in that regard. Because I begin to ask myself how many people right now have this information and how many of those are dying because they didn't just know to say they could even do a backyard garden and get uh, some nutritional values from the food that they can grow on their own. So ignorance really has killed many other people. And also what John said in John, uh, uh, third John chapter 1 and verse 2, when he said, um, I wish you above all things that you might be in good health, even as your soul prospers. Because if you are sick, then you cannot uh, work properly. So I believe that this um, Eat Well campaign, for me, I am ready for it. If it means us doing crusades, we'll be able to do that. So the Eat Well campaign is targeting the general public, but more especially uh, people living in the urban areas as well as peri-urban peri areas. Uh, the reason for this is because it's people in the urban and peri-urban areas who are more exposed to um, unhealthy choices of foods. And so uh, through this campaign, we're actually pointing people in the, the right direction. So you asked about what kind of messages uh, we are giving, you know, uh, our target audience. So it's messages around what they can do to make smarter food choices. It's messages around physical activity because we do know that, you know, in the urban areas we are we live busy lifestyles. We we drive a lot. There are escalators in shopping malls, elevators in in different buildings. So people do not. Uh, or do not, do not find time to actually uh, exercise. And oftentimes also when we talk of exercise, people think it's going to the gym. And when you do not have the money to pay for your gym fees, people feel, I, I cannot exercise. But really we, the message we are giving people is that physical activity can be in various forms. Even gardening, for example, is a form of physical activity. Walking is a form of physical activity. Uh, you don't necessarily have to go to the gym to exercise, for example. We also are promoting indigenous Zambian foods because it is in the urban and peri-urban areas also where we've neglected our indigenous Zambian foods. You know, we tend to think it's your pizza, your chicken and chips, your, you know, all these foods, ice cream that you find in these areas that will be considered as, as uh, healthy or eating well in the Zambian context. We want to change that narrative to say, can we go back to our indigenous uh, foods, kachesha for example, ifinkubala, uh, even mbeba for example, all these are also uh, healthier alternatives uh, to, to what we know in our, in, in our urban settings. So we have rolled out the campaign to other districts where we are working with community-based volunteers. Uh, for now we are in Mazabuka, Mumbwa, Mongu, as well as Lusaka districts. So just these four districts, but we plan to uh, scale up to other districts in future. So we work with community-based volunteers in these districts uh, who actually take out 
take these messages or conduct one-on-one -on -one counseling session sessions with clients. So they are based at the health facility and they catch the clients from the health facility and conduct one-on-one uh, -on -one counseling sessions as well as follow-up sessions uh, on what it means to eat well. So we've come up with counseling uh, counseling guide that uh, a counselor or a community-based volunteer can take a client through the different, uh, you know, messages on eating well. So there are major uh, parts of the program that, first of all, we need to create awareness among our people that it is important for us to eat well. Secondly, we need to create some sort of behavior change for people to know that to eat well, it does not mean that you have to spend a lot of money. It's not expensive for us to eat well. Thirdly, it's promoting the use of our locally produced foods, our, our masau, our viwuyu, all the foods that we have and the high nutrients that we have, just promoting their use and us being able to get the nutrients that we need from them. Then uh, fourthly, it's uh, to increase the demand of each and every person to ask for or to demand to eat good food, to eat well. Then uh, lastly, it's to empower. Empower each and every person here in Mumba to be able to know how to produce these foods that they need so that they can eat well. So uh, this campaign is very, very important because it's not only talking about maybe a small group of people or um, just maybe production or what, but it's talking about how we are going to produce, how we're going to maybe cook and also store and also use the food that we're going to have so that we get greatest benefit from them. This program is going to be rolled out to the community. We'll have community volunteers that are going to be able to go to different households to talk to people about these things and also to help them. We're going to work hand in hand with uh, Caritas and the different uh, um, agricultural extension officers that we have so that even in what they are doing in their camp, we work together with health so that we reach out to our communities and we ensure that eating well is made something that is readily available and also cheap and affordable by everyone. As the National Food and Nutrition Commission, uh, by the end of this campaign, we want to see to it that uh, we achieve three things. First of all, that uh, people make uh, food choices that are healthier. And uh, second of all, we also want to see uh, businesses in the food industry producing foods that are healthier. Because for one to make a healthier choice, there is need to be you know, healthier alternatives there available. So uh, these are supermarkets, for example, restaurants, um, lodges and hotels. We want them to also be able to provide healthier alternatives for their clients. And uh, thirdly, we also want to see a reduction in the number of cases of type 2 diabetes, of, of cancer, of, of hypertension, stroke, and all these nutrition-related uh, diseases. Because it is not cheap to, you know, to manage these conditions. Uh, it is not cheap not only to the individual, but to the country. Our health sector is already overburdened. Uh, and so we want to see to it that, you know, we save money as a country because it is expensive to, to manage and treat these conditions.